Hey everyone, and welcome to our Touch Base Thursday for August 17th. Um, on this rainy day here in Michigan, thank you, Claire. On this rainy day here in Michigan, as we are um, getting ready to show you some awesome, wonderful things. So if you are joining me, please comment and tell me hello, and we will get our um, presentation started here in just a little bit. Um, so again, um, rainy day, my hair today got really, really wet, and so here I am um, with my hair all up, and it got really, really wet. So anyway, I'm improvising today, but hello to Shireen and Patty. I think you guys are both on here watching um, watching so far. If you're joining me, say hello. Hello, Shireen. Um, but yeah, I, I was on campus today and had to leave to run a couple errands, and I got, even with an umbrella, I just got, it was during the downpour, and I, my hair got drenched. I, I was drenched. So I got home just a little while ago because Claire, um, yeah, today's been a crazy day, but um, <clears throat> Claire went and got fitted for her or tried on her dress to get it shortened for homecoming. Just got home literally about 10 minutes ago and had to do something with this crazy hair. So this is what you guys get today. Um, but any anyway, um, it's been one of those days for us today. It's been very, very rainy. Oh, thank you, Cindy. It's like a little, like a little over thing. Yeah. Uh, but today was a day in the office. Tuesdays and Thursdays have kind of become um, days in the office for me. And um, and yeah, so it was a uh, uh, rainy, rainy, crazy day. But anyway, happy to be live with you all. I was really worried I was going to be coming on here a little bit late. Um, but I made it at 7.01, so I'll take it. I've been later on you guys in the past. Okay, so again, as you guys are all coming in, please feel free to comment and say hello, and we will go ahead and um, and get started here. So a few things I have in the way of some announcements. Um, so I can't believe school starts already next week. So next Tuesday, Claire starts school. Um, our Mount Pleasant schools go back in session um, Tuesday, the 22nd, which is also my mom's birthday. Uh, crazy that our summer has just flown by. And then the following Monday is when um, Natalie starts her classes back up at CMU. So as much as I love the non-routine, I've been telling everybody I'm actually looking forward to getting back into a routine because our summer this year has been more crazy busy than normal with our, um, ever since we went to, um, on the Norway incentive trip, I feel like it's just been nonstop with something, um, between that and then Claire going to Europe and us picking her up in Chicago and Natalie and Mai's trip to, um, to Utah and then coming back and fair and moving Natalie into her apartment. It has just been like one thing after another for us. So, um, as much as I am so sad to see summer come to an end, I'm ready for routine. And with routine comes amazing stand Stampin' Up! events that I am going to be hosting again um, this fall and into the winter months. So that always excites me. I know we all get on summertime um, and, and kind of take a break. Some of us take a break from our crafting hobbies. So I'm going to be telling you a few events that I have um, upcoming and share with you some things um, that maybe you um, might be interested in attending. Um, and a lot of these are also available in an online format where you can get your retreat sent to you right to your house. So if you don't live local, you can still take in part of all of the fun. So Anyway, um, yes, we took Claire last weekend. My mom came in town, and we took my mom with us, and we went to, we have a consignment shop here in Mount Pleasant. Um, it's called, well, it's actually um, between Mount Pleasant and Beale City. It's called Dance Again, and it's kind of an amazing little store. You can go in there, and, um, like, we actually dropped off six of our dresses to be sold there, but that is where Claire found her homecoming dress. Homecoming for us is the end of September, and then she actually found another little dress there for, like, $25 that she's going to use to wear for Snowball in um, dance in the, in the winter. And so um, we have a, a lady who lives local to the area. She is an amazing seamstress, reasonably priced. And so we had an appointment with her tonight. Um, it was supposed to have been at 5.30. We didn't get there till almost quarter to six. Anyway, I'm happy to be live with you all because that was another thing I wanted to try to get in, trying to get all these things done before our crazy schedule goes again in the fall with Claire starting dance and everything else like that. But we are close to having Claire drive herself. So she is working on her 
her hours right now. And then she'll sit and do her segment two and she will actually be 16 in November. So we're hopeful that maybe she'll be able to, um, it might not be right at her birthday or close to it, be able to start driving herself. Um, to, then that will alleviate me a little bit more of all of the different things that I have to do and run to and all that great stuff. But anyway, uh, um, I don't want to rush it because it's going to happen fast enough. And um, I'm enjoying having one still at home. So Natalie, I mentioned to all of you, is has already um, moved into her apartment. Hello to Philomena and Donna. Hello, ladies. Um, so she has already moved into her apartment. And then just this weekend, we actually moved her hedgehog. We moved Hazel in. So Natalie had to fill out paperwork and get her um, her pet certified through her apartment complex, which she did. And it's so cute because in the little corner of her window, it says registered pet and it says hedgehog. So uh, so cute. And her one roommate, um, Jaden, is loving her hedgehog. She says, Mom, Jaden plays with her all the time. And so that's kind of cool. So they're having fun with the hedgehog, and Natalie's starting to get, I think, all um, her room all set up and things all ready at her apartment. So that is pretty cool. Uh, it took a while to get there, but we are there. Um, and it's nice that she's, you know, on her own to get some little independence, but not too far that she can still, you know, call us, come home if she needs to, or to get something. Um, but um, I'm excited for her. She's, you know, going to be 19 here next month. So I think it's a good age for her to get a little bit of independence and a little bit of um, being on her own. And Claire, uh, true story, Claire took right to uh, Natalie being gone and cleaned the bathroom out. They had a shared bathroom upstairs. So Claire um, made it her own, uh, moved all of Natalie's stuff to the one end that Natalie didn't take, uh, took over, the, um, you know, reorganized the bathroom, got some new rugs for it, new hamper. Um, anyway, so it was kind of fun. She did that within two days after Natalie, <laughs> Natalie left. So we were chuckling. Um, but she did a really good job and she cleaned her room all up now. And so anyway, we're getting ready for all of our routines to start back up. Excited for that. Um, so that's kind of what we've been up to this week. Um, and, uh, again, happy to be live with you all. Now I will announce that there will not be a Facebook live next week. Boo hoo. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but this came up really fast too. So I will be attending the leadership event for Stampin' Up! It's an event called Backstage and I'll be attending that in, um, in Las Vegas. So I fly out on Wednesday and I get back on, um, on Sunday night. So I will not be able to go live with you all, but I am going to still post for you um, some kind of a video. It might just be some swap cards that I'm going to be getting. Um, or if I have the time this weekend to do a, um, some recording of other projects that I've already made for you all, I will do that as well. But I'll try my best to have something for you. Um, but just know that I will not be live. I will not be home. Um, I will be um, in, in Vegas for those um, four days um, next week. Uh, so just as an FYI. Um, okay, let's do our sharing. So most of you know um, that um, if you share my video, you get into the drawing for prizes, right? And so up for grabs from last week, we had the Festive Pearls and then a bolt of the Lost Lagoon ribbon. And I have drawn my two winners from those of you that shared. And so the winner of the Festive Pearls is drum roll doo -doo 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 -doo, pat stewart so congratulations to pat um pat i'll get those out to you i know you usually catch the replay and then the winner of the bolt of ribbon is marianne mcginnis so congratulations to marianne and to pat and thank you all so very much for sharing my video um every single week i do appreciate it um and i'm glad that you um come back and keep watching me every single week so, um, yeah, thank you, Shireen. It is an amazing opportunity. I was not going to go to the Stampin' Up! Um, backstage, but I had a new another team member because um, I had been just gone so much. Um, but I had a team member, a new team member, um, uh, become eligible to go and wanted to go. So, um, long story short, we get one free event um, a, a year to, um, to attend when you're um, at a certain level with the company. And then I had a flight credit that I forgot about. I still had flight credit from, from the pandemic. And so, literally, it was just the cost one third of the cost of a hotel room and food so um, I ended up being like okay I'll save some money we're gonna go um, it's just a tough time with school starting back up um, and with my job we get busy at CMU as well but I am excited about it but yes I will not be live with you next week like I said I'm gonna try my best to have a video um, done 
YouTube from my home has been taking forever for me to upload a video, um, but I will try to get it done um, in a video uploaded when I'm at work. I've got such better internet coverage for it to be able to accomplish that. Um, so anyway, I will have something out there for you guys, but I will not be live with you. If I have a chance, maybe I'll go live from the event. It might not be, it just might be a spontaneous live. Um, just pop in and say hi, but I might try to do that for you guys as well, because that's kind of fun too. Okay, up for grabs this week, if you share my video. So, and I didn't realize that I grabbed another bolt of a ribbon that I just gave away, but it's okay. As <laughs> another bolt of the Lost Lagoon ribbon. Did not know that I grabbed that. I literally open up my bin of extras and just grab a couple. Um, and then the um, other item is the opaque ovals. Okay, so these are the two items up for grabs this next week. And so we will draw um, winners then um, next week for those two. Um, it might not be next week. It might be the week after. Or if I do a video, I'll try to um, still do the winners. I still do them in my video when I can. Uh, so classes, um, my classes are open for you to sign up for, for the month of August. And one of them that you, one of them that's open is what you're going to be seeing today or tonight. It's the Hey Chuck and the Hey Chuck is a perfect bundle for our family. Um, most of you know, some of you may not that we have over 40 chickens right now, um, uh, that free range here at our house. We live out in the country and, uh, we got chickens for the fair for Claire to take to the fair. We got a few extra. So we have eggs going, eggs like crazy right now. Um, but chickens, my daughter is a chicken mama. We literally call her a chicken mama. The chickens are so tame. They go into, I have pictures of my husband sending me a picture of the chicken and the, when he opens up his um, hood of his vehicle to look at something, just like a cat sitting right there next to him. Um, pictures of the mail, the mail truck with the chickens inside the mail truck. So anyway, um, our chickens are very, very, very tame. Um, and we have a chicken mama who um, takes care of them very well and has them so tame that it's just crazy. So when this bundle came out, I had to do a class with it. So this is a current class that's open for registration. And you can add on the bundle if you would like. Or I do have my ordering promotion, um, and I will grab my host code. I do have one. Um, if you're interested in putting in an order of $35, you'll get three of these finished cards sent to you already completed um, for that $35 order if you didn't want to purchase the whole class, but you still wanted a little taste of the Hey Chuck um, stuff. So that's what I'm going to be showcasing for you tonight. And then I also have my Trucking Along class that is still open. That's the awesome truck bundle that Stampin' Up! had. Now the punch is not available, but most of my projects just use that amazing stamp set. And the other class that I have that's currently open is Reach for the Stars. If you like to be like astronaut um, and space stuff that's in the annual catalog, my class is pretty awesome for that one as well. Um, I held my online bingo last night, my online fun party, I call it, and I think I had the most people that have ever participated in that. We were at, I think it was 14, and usually I cap that at 15. I've never really reached 15, but I was so close. We had so much fun. Our next um, online bingo is September 20th. I also wanted to mention that I'm going to be opening that event up to also be an in-person event. I can easily run it through Facebook Live and have about um, six to eight people here in person. Um, so, and I'm looking at maybe structuring it, adding in one or two more classes if I get more people. The more people I can get to take um, advantage of the bingo, the more fun things I can do with it because it's all, all of my bingo that I do is based on numbers of people that I have coming with what I can do and things like that with prizes. So if you're interested in doing um, bingo, but you're not sure if you want the component of it being online. I do it online through a Facebook Live, just like this. It's pretty easy and straightforward. But I will be opening that up the third Tuesday, September 20th, um, or sorry, third Wednesday. So September 20th is my next one, and it starts at 7 p.m. And it, it usually we're done by 8, 8.15, 8.30 at the latest, depending on how long those games take. Uh, so just know that that will be opening up, and I'm going to be actually promoting that for anybody who might want to come in person as well. Um, holiday catalogs are out, and so the holiday catalogs, if you have not received your holiday catalog, I'm going to ask you to just wait a little bit longer. Uh, I had every day I'm getting people who said I haven't gotten it yet, reaching out and saying, oh, no, I got it. So I'm just going to ask you to kind of hang tight and, and give it to at least through the end of um, middle, or probably the middle of next week. I do have catalogs here, and I don't mind sending them out, but I did already pay um, Stampin' Up! through their, they have a, a mailing program where I pick all of you that have ordered from me in the last year to get a catalog. And so I hate to, um, now that I care that you have twice, two of them, 
um, share with a friend, but just because of the expense involved with it, I really want to try to make sure you guys get the one from the company. However, I will not let you not have a catalog prior to the start of the catalog. So the catalog goes live on September 6th. So if you do not have a catalog here in the next week or so, I will get one out to you. Just let me know. Um, I like to have all of you have access to a can or to a um, book prior to that catalog going live so that you have the option of ordering right away um, if it's something that you might be interested in. Um, I'm going to be trying, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be trying a couple new things. Hi Susie, I'm gonna be trying a couple new things um, as we get closer to um, to fall. Um, I love the fall season, it's probably one of my favorites and I love one of the bundles that we have in our current um, fall or in our current catalog and so I am going to be doing a five days of fall series um, so be looking for that I'll probably be doing that in the middle of September um, but I'll be doing a quick little Facebook live every single day and I'll be doing a project and I'll be offering a make and take kit for all of those projects for you to be able to follow along with me there also be an ordering incentive you'll be able to get some of the products to be able to make the projects with me um, but I'm gonna be doing a five days of fall so be on the lookout for that and it will be cards 3d project I might even have a little home decor piece in there um, so uh, I'm hoping to get that finished up and designed by the end of this weekend uh, but I decided to try something new and I would love your feedback on what you guys think about that so during that week I'll probably be live with you at some point, um, the Monday through like a Monday through Friday is what I'm thinking for the five days of um, of fall. But my lives may have to be at different times, so they may not all be at the same time. But I will advertise when they are. I only say that because of my work schedule. But the neat thing is, you can always go back and watch the replay, and I'll have a lot of other different things going on in conjunction with that. Um, and another thing that I'm going to be doing, um, probably near the end of September, beginning of October, is I'm going to be doing. Uh, some of you might remember when I did these and I was going to try to get one done this um, spring summer and it just didn't work but I actually did a Facebook virtual party where it was a, a separate group um, most of you are probably still in the group but I do um, fun games we post different things for you to comment you get I, I draw winners for commenting on the fun games I do two different Facebook lives where you can do make and takes with me um, and it's just a lot of fun that I do inside that Facebook group it's kind of like a um, it's set for a specific day so it might be like on a Tuesday it's from 7 7 to 8 or 7 to 8 30 um, and I've got posts scheduled that just come out for you to comment on and little games and fun things like that um, and so I'm trying to you know I took on this summer I didn't do as much because we all needed a break right I mean I know I did but I truly I didn't have the time to do as much because I was so busy with my kids and and life and I know a lot of you like to take time in the summer to do your gardening your outdoor stuff some of you camp um, so I'm looking at trying to um, implement and come up with a, a few new things um, to do for all of you. So if any of you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to, to do or like to see, please let me know. I'm always open for ideas and I'm always open to try to create and, and do new things um, for all of you as well. Um, I know, Shireen, I know you love the fall. So hopefully you're going to love my um, my little five days of fall. So uh, I, 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 I can't commit to 10 because 10 is a lot. Or I know some people do a countdown, you know, of 10 days of Halloween or whatever, but I can commit to five. I can commit to five days. Absolutely. All right. So with that, I think I covered everything um, that I wanted to cover with you in regards to um, announcements and things like that. Um, we did our sharing thing. Let me just check my little um, quick little uh, cheat sheet here that I have. Um, but I think that is everything. So with that, are you guys ready to see some beautiful, cute, fun cards? Um, and I will tell you, these cards were a little outside my comfort zone. I am more of a floral, pretty, fancy kind of a designer when it comes to the bundles and things I design with. But I saw this one and I knew that it was meant for me to play with because of our crazy chicken life. And these cards turned out really, really cute. And I know a good handful of you have already signed up for this class. And I know that it's because you think they're cute too. So I'm going to share with you um, what I made and some of the products that I, that I paired with them that I think kind of fit really, really well with that. So with that, I'm going to transition my camera down and let's have some fun creating. Okay. So first of all, let me move this down so that you guys can see my projects here or at least see some of them and i know aren't they cute let me also get my um my ipad out around here so that i can see all of your guys's comments because i 
Switched to my iPad a few weeks ago, and I don't think I'll be going back to the other. I love doing it with my iPad here. So much easier. Okay, so first of all, um, I have here, for any of you that I'm going to actually move all of my cards. Move them, move them. You got a little sneak peek. That's all you guys are going to get. A little sneak peek. Okay. Um, if any of you are interested in submitting an order um, from now through Sunday night, $35 order and this host code, this is my host code for the month of um, August. You will then be um, in um, able to, I will send you three of those finished cards that we're making tonight. Okay. So if three of those cards finished will be in the mail to you as a thank you gift. Um, I know sometimes people actually just send their make and take kits, but I will be sending you finished products. I like to do that a little bit better. Okay. This is the amazing bundle. Oh, and I should mention this host code. I will also have this host code in the description of my video after I'm done. And this host code is also on my website at camusbasementbunch.com. It's the same host code for the entire month. All right. Thank you, Philomena. I like my nails too this time. Not going to lie. All right. This is the Hey Chuck bundle. And again, it is a very cute bundle. So it's not your typical bundle that you would see Kim Vogel create with, to be honest with you. However, I fell in love with the crazy wild chickens. Um, and then you have the coordinating dies that go with it. And in the dies, you also have um, other things as well. So you have all of the dies that will cut out all of the different chickens. Okay, whoops. I don't want to lose them. They're stuck together. Here we go. So you have the ones that will cut out all of these different little things here. Um, I'm not going to match them all up, but there's four of them. Okay, so they all cut out one of the little chickens. And then you also have the weather vane and you have a sun. So you're going to see where I use those in the cards as well. Okay, so hey Chuck has dies. Got to get hey Chuck. They were on back order for a while, but they are available again. So... Um, and if you play my bingo, whoops, forgot one. If you play my bingo, this was actually a prize last night, and I think I might have one more um, for my next one too. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, these are the, um, the products that I chose to pair with my cards tonight, okay? Oh, Donna, those are four by three. Four by three are those rectangles. When I do like this number, um, kind of like, like that, those are four by three. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but these are the products that I used. I thought they went really, really well with the, um, with the, pro with the, the Hey Chuck. I chose to use, this is the Pecan Pie Ribbon. And I really like that ribbon. So it's got Pecan Pie, got a lighter color in the middle, out, um, another color on the outside. And then you have the brushed metallic adhesive back dots that I used. I used one of these, this, this embossing folder reminds me of chicken scratch, literally like little chicken feet. And so this is one of the basics embossing folders that I used on our cards. And then I paired it with the Earth and Essence Designer Series paper. Again, you just gotta get creative with what we have and, and you can mix and match all of these different bundles with other cards and things like that. So the first one that we're going to work on is this one right here. You rule the roost. Look how cute that one is. So this one I used two of the different um, chickens, the weather vane, the sun. This paper, like I said, is from the Earth and Essence um, product suite. Um, and I have all these little pieces. You can see the little, the little embossing folder on that. Doesn't that fit it perfect? So let's work on this card together real quick. Um, I may or may not do all of the coloring, but I will at least tell you what colors I used in them. So for this one, I used a um, piece of Very Vanilla for my card base. And then I have a layer of the Designer Series paper. Again, this is from the Earth and Essence. I used the, this um, pretty, um, call, this is the Misty Moonlight color. And I added some of that ribbon just to this piece right here. So let me grab my adhesive. And I may have to go and grab um, an adhesive because I think I'm almost out. And I knew that when I was doing my make and takes with my bingo people last night and never went and got one. So um, let me just wrap this around. I usually like to wrap it around cardstock and not just designer series paper. But um, this time I did just wrap it around designer series paper. And then we're just going to adhere this down to my card like this. 
No, maybe it's not completely straight. There we go. Now I feel better about that. So this week has been a crazy week um, with transporting Claire everywhere. So Claire ended up doing a, even though I told her no summer camps in August because she had been so busy with um, everything else she had going on, she was invited to partake in a, in a class this week for her dance studio. And then she also had her dance um, um, practice for the dance varsity dance team. So she has been danced out this week. It's been kind of crazy for her. But um, anyway, luckily she's only got one day of it left. So th this is a four by three piece and then a four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So those are, um, and what I did is I brought in some of the Moody uh, Moody, the Moody Mauve, <laughs> Moody Mauve. And this piece I'm going to put on with some dimensionals, okay? So let me find some dimensionals here. That's the one thing I didn't make sure I had was all of my supplies handy. So I set up last night for my live knowing that I was going to be probably running a little bit um, close to time with Claire's appointment for her fittings to get her dress dresses tried on. Because of course we need them hemmed. Most of you know my Claire is a very short little child. So um, so she has to get everything hemmed. So uh, she is, and some of you uh, might not know how short she truly is. So Claire is going to be a junior in high school and she is four seven and will not be growing any taller so that is how how tall my little claire is so a lot of times we go places and people think that she is like in um 12 years old or that she's they ask us if we want the the um if we want a kid's menu and she'll just look at me and give me the look like seriously mom however there are times that that's to our advantage so i gotta tell you what her sister did the two of them wanted to go and see the barbie movie together um as a sister thing to go and do before natalie moved out and so i said that's fine and so natalie's like well i'll buy the tickets mom because they're on me i want to take claire to the movie and i'm like okay natalie you can do that so ready for what natalie did she bought herself the student one well that's great because she's a student and she bought Claire a kid's one because she thought she looked under 12 to save herself some money. And I just chuckled and went, oh, things are a little different when you're buying and mom isn't. And she just kind of gave me the look and we all kind of chuckled. Anyway, on this one, I put the sun up there. Um, now, I have not seen the um, the Barbie movie, but Natalie said that it was a really, really good movie. And it's not... It's really kind of not even geared towards kids. It's a really, you know, more geared towards like her population and stuff like that. So um, anyway, I haven't seen it yet, but they really enjoyed it. Okay, so what I did is I have the sun here and then I have this awesome little weather vane. Now those you're going to want to use like the liquid Tombow glue or even the fabric or the fabric adhesive sheets. Um, can you tell I'm talking to Natalie sometimes about fabric? Um, the, the, um, the adhesive sheets for the cardstock would make that a little bit easier. These are all things that I've stamped and cut out with the dies. I stamped these with a Memento black ink and then I just colored all of these cute little cute little chickens and put them on, on the card. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that assembly here in just a minute, but I wanna tell you the colors of the, of the, um, the blends that I used and some of these I don't even have opened and I don't know, oh, I know why they're not opened, um, but that's okay. So what I used for my blends is I used, um, I used my, I have a full set that I use just for myself and then I buy them um, to put in um, production, so to speak, for my classes. So I used the Lemon Lolly, I used the Misty Moonlight, um, I used the, what ones are these? I don't think I used those. Oh yes, I did for the one chicken. The, the Sweet Sorbet, and then I used the Pecan, the Light and Dark Pecan, and then I used the Light and Dark, um, pumpkin pie. And last but not least, I used one of uh, the, um, the pretty peacock. So those are the blends that I used. So not a ton of them. I used one, two, three, four, six different sets of them. I tried to, to kind of keep it down to not a whole lot, but I wanted to add a bunch of different color in here. Now the sun I did put on with a couple of dimensionals. So we'll get that added. Oh, and I also must have used the, the mauve and I did not, did not grab the mauve. I thought I grabbed all my blends, but I'm not going to spend the too much time actually coloring because you guys know how to, 
to color and and I didn't um I didn't actually do any kind of special blending with these I literally just colored with the dark or the light on these so you can see here um pecan pie the only color this is the misty moonlight the only color that I did not pull out um that I did use is the um, moody mauve and then yeah I, even this I colored with the with the um even that I colored with the pecan pie. And so what I did with this one is this, I, I just adhered this directly onto the card and these I raised up with dimensionals. And you can see that those awesome um, brushed metallic dots uh, work really, really nice with this. Okay, so that is how I created my first card. Um, and doesn't that ribbon look just very chickeny as well? So anyway, that is simply designer series paper on their back. The back of this is um, five and a quarter by four. And then these are just cut out and stamped. This is um, four by three with a four and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece behind it. Um, so that is your first card. And like I said, I'm not going to actually, and I want to be able to color them before I adhere them down to the card. But you kind of get the gist of it. Isn't that cute? Okay. So that is my first card. Thank you, Susie. Okay, my next card, and this one I probably will attempt to just do some quick coloring and assemble this one completely. My next card is this one right here, and again, using different pattern paper from that Earthen Essence, okay? Um, I love, love that Earthen Essence paper, and to me, this is perfect for the chickens as well. So for this one, I used... Um, did I get the right one? Oh yeah, I just cut a different color because I must have not been paying attention. So we're gonna use the copper clay for the base on this one and not the pretty, the peacock. But again, they're all going to go together so nicely. So, oh, no, 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 I know what I did. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to find the right card. I picked the wrong card. Do, do, do. Maybe, maybe I picked the wrong card. Here we go. Okay, I did pick the wrong card. Now we're good, we are golden. Okay, so so this chickeny, right? Don't you like chickeny? I know, very chickeny, Mary. All right, so now I have the right card base. I'm sorry, I grabbed the wrong card base. So for this one, I chose to pair it with Lemon Lolly. That's five and a quarter by four, and just to kind of make that kind of, um, kind of peek up a little bit and stand out. Then I have a layer of five by three and three fourths of the Pretty Peacock. So that's where the Pretty Peacock comes into play on this card. So we're just going to adhere those two together. This one I did not use any ribbon at all. Um, I don't think it needed the ribbon because it's just very cute all on its own. So I'm just gonna adhere that one down like this. And then I had a piece of three by three of that designer series paper. Does that not look like chickadee stuff too? I know, Mary, now I'm going to keep saying that word. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this one down up near the top. And then for the fence on this one, I actually stamped using the Pecan Pie ink directly onto Lemon Lolly cardstock. And I'm going to put that right across the bottom here. I did use dimensionals for that. Um, thank you, Philomena. And I'm just going to use, I don't have a ton of dimensionals here in front of me, so I'm just going to do one on each of the fences and this is just going to go right across the bottom of this piece of paper and it fits perfectly right across this bottom okay then we have the sun and the sun i put up here directly on at an angle like this so i'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive along there and just going to put this right up here at the top just so that it's still on the card not all the way cut off and then we have this little weather vane, okay? So this, we are going to use some of the liquid Tombow glue to adhere this on. Hopefully it comes out, there we go. And I'm not gonna use a lot, just a little bit. A little bit of that goes a long way. And I'm just gonna adhere this down, kind of at a little bit of an angle, because sometimes they're not always straight, right? And then we have our little cute little chicken. And this one I am gonna color. Um, so let me just move this out of the way for a minute. We are gonna color this one. So I'm using brand new blends. I love new blends. So anybody taking this class, and I should have mentioned my in-person class for this, any of you that are local, my in-person class is going to be on the 28th of August. So you're able to come and take this class. If you, um, this is also an online class, so you're welcome to take advantage of that. The registration link has been open. I think I posted it even a couple times. 
Um, so if you're interested in this class, there's an option with the class for you to add on the stamp set or add on the stamp set and the dies because I honestly don't think you're going to want just one. You're going to want them both together. So there is the that. And then I use the Lemon Lolly. Let me open those up. Should have had these open so you guys didn't have to hear all that crinkle noise. Um, so I'm, I always start with the light and see what kind of look I get with the light. And I am using the smaller side because this is a little bit more finer area to work in. And I don't want it to, um, to really bleed and have a mess. So I am using the lighter one. Now on this one, I can tell you that I did come back in with some of the darker color and um, make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to kind of go down here where all of the little feathers are and make it a little bit darker, highlighting a little bit of the areas. You can see it just kind of pulls that all together nicely. And then his little feet. So we are going to, again, use the, um, the light pecan pie. So light pecan pie for his feet here. Are these cards not adorable? Claire really likes them. Like I said, she's my chicken mama. So of course she's going to really like them. And then last but not least, I use the light pumpkin pie on this right here, just to kind of add a little bit of pizzazz to that. All right, now we're ready to put him on the card with some dimensionals. And I do have some minis here. So I'm going to add some minis um, to this one. So some little mini dimensionals onto the back of the little chick here. Mm -hmm. Get them off here. Oh, I guess they all are. All right. And then this is just going to get glued on here. And I'm going to kind of hide the bottom part of the, the weather vane. And then down here, I added the saying, you've got something to crow about. Because it looks like he's crowing, right? Does it look like he's crowing? So I'm going to add, you've got something to crow about down here. And I'm just going to put that on with some dimensionals too. Cute. I love this card. I love it. Love it. I love this bundle though. Um, and I, I, you know, when we had something similar come out a while back and I did not like it, it was not one of my favorites and I never got it. And now with this one, I really like it. And I think it's because we have chickens. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add some of these metallic um, dots. So I'm just gonna add one up here and I'm going to add one and I'm just sliding them off the here. And then I did add one right here as well. Just gonna slide it off, put it where I want it. And voila. There you go. So cute, so cute. Okay, so that is card number two. And man, I need to speed up. We're only on card number two. Wow, you guys. Okay, card number three. This one is one of my favorites. I love this chicken. I love this little chubby chicken. Chubby, chubby chicken, I love it. All right, so this is the card base that I already folded because I meant I grabbed the wrong stuff, had it together wrong. So anyway, so this chicken, is that chicken not the cutest chicken? Isn't he cute? Um, you rule the roost because it reminded me we have our, our chicken, we have one, well, we have more than one rooster right now, but we're gonna be getting rid of the rest because there are a couple of them I just don't like. But our one rooster, his name is Maverick. We have had him forever. And he's beautiful. If you know anything about chickens, he's a, um, a longhorn chicken. So he's white and um, beautiful white with beautiful red, um, um, oh, what a comb and everything like that. And he's gorgeous. And he is not a mean rooster. He does look at you a little bit when you walk by him, but he is a beautiful rooster. Trust me, I hear him all the time because he comes to the windows to welcome me in the morning when I work on my remote days. Um, but this card kind of reminded me of my chicken with the you rule the roost because he definitely rules the roost with our hens. So um, I loved him. I'm designing this card. It kind of reminded me of my cute little chicken. All right, so for this one, again, I did more layering. Philomena's gonna love my layering. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So the reason why, Peggy, they called him Maverick is from the movie, um, oh, and I'm out of adhesive. So we're just gonna use this. It's because of the movie um, Top Gun. Um, Maverick was the, um, the son. And so, and Rooster was the, yeah, you get it. So anyway, that's why we um, have that um, for that reason. 
All right, and then I have a piece that's three by three and a two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And that is just going to get put onto my card, okay? So that's just gonna get put onto the card. And um, let me bring my card over so you guys can see it. And I'm just going to adhere this down again with a little bit of liquid glue. If you use this liquid glue, a little bit goes a long way. Do you guys see how much I only added? Um, I did a couple of, of uh, group events with a couple of late, with some ladies the last um, uh, couple weeks here. And I've had some of them use a lot of glue. You don't need much. A little bit of that goes a long way. All right. And then we're going to add some ribbon along this. Again, this is that awesome. Oop, I almost dropped all my card supplies. This is that awesome pecan pie. A ribbon so I'm just going to cut this and wrap it around here and I'm gonna also use my liquid glue it works just as well I may have to hold it just a smudge bit longer but you know maybe I'll use glue dots because I'm in a hurry it would work but again I'm just kind of in a hurry to get my videos done so let me grab some glue dots yeah I meant to grab another adhesive before I went live and I didn't but that's okay so we're just going to add some glue dots if you put a glue dot on the corner of each of this it works well so you can kind of pick and choose your adhesives and what you want to use um, for them but I'm just going to adhere this right around the center like that there we go and then this will go down to my card base, okay? So we're gonna use this liquid glue again, and we're just gonna, again, can you see I'm not using much? A little goes a long way on this. You guys can barely see it, and that's gonna be plenty to glue this down. Otherwise, when you glue it down, you have glue coming out to the ends and the sides, and that's where you get into issues where it becomes um, a hot mess of um, glue coming out the sides and it gets your fingers all icky and stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna add some dimensionals and I'm just using some minis because it's what I have here. So we're gonna add some dimensionals. Um, in this square, I may have actually cut a little bit smaller than the other one, but it'll work. It'll all fit on there. We have a sun because you know what? Roosters come up at the day hour, uh, 5.30 in the morning. I hear mine doing his little crowing, telling us to wake up and come out and see me kind of thing. All right, we're going to do some coloring. You guys ready to do some coloring? So this is where the fun comes into play. So for this one, I am going to color him because I want you guys to see how I did that. Can you tell it's blended a little bit right there? It's got some blending. Um, so what I did is I started with the light. And so we're going to color. And this one I did use the wider side because it is uh, more space to color in. So I'm going to use this light one first and I'm just going to color in all of this part of the chicken. Okay and then we're going to go back on top of it with the darker one. I did not use the lifter pen on this one. I normally do but I can tell you that I didn't. But I'm going to show you how I got the darker variation. And these markers kind of just like melt. You don't even have to hardly color with them. The color just absorbs right into our cardstock. They're pretty phenomenal. Okay, well, let me make sure I get that all good. There we go. So I did the light first, okay? Hello to Marsha. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shireen. Yes, Philomena, it is awesome, awesome, awesome colors. I'm sorry, I haven't seen all of you guys' comments um, coming in. Oh, Kathy, you, I'm hoping our neighbors don't mind hearing ours because he is loud. All right, and then what I did with the dark pecan is I came back in here and the little spots, the little areas that are kind of his extremities, I colored dark, all of it. And then I just kind of outlined all of these little dots, like the little feathers and marks that are part of his um, body. I colored all of them in. So can you see how that just kind of gave it some variation? I mean, that's really all I did. I also took the marker and kind of went along the outer edge down here. I also went inside of here, um, kind of did a little bit of an outline to it, kind of picked and choose where I wanted to go. And I think I may have even gone on top of this a second time. But that's really all I did. And it gives you just a little bit of a variation without having to even bring in that blender brush. Oh, Kathy, I hope that our neighbors feel the same way <laughs> because I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, no, I love it. I'm gonna, and ours, 
so I'm going to tell you a funny story. So we have a couple roosters that are from the second stash. So Claire had to take, um, to our county fair, she needed some, um, she was going to try to take one rooster. But here we had to buy what's called unsexed roosters. So we are unsexed hens. So we didn't know if we were going to be getting um, male or female. And so we have some males that we need to get rid of because they're starting to get kind of mean towards each other. And we're not going to have that. Um, but I call them, they, the, the other breed that we have is, the, they're called Silver Laced Wyandots. They're beautiful. They're black, gray, and white. Um, but they don't crow quite as loud as our Maverick does. And so the one day, it was last weekend, I heard the one crow and I said, ugh, I don't like those imitation fake, well, fake birds. I said, they're trying to imitate Maverick. And they, my whole house started laughing. Imitation? Or I forget how I worded it. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're just not Mav. <laughs> we nicknamed him Mav. And so we were just all chuckling and laughing because I'm like, no, I'm not having that fake stuff. I want to hear Mav. Yeah, their crow is not, even though they're, they're almost full size, their crow is definitely not as, um, not as strong and not as loud and vibrant as our Mavericks is. So anyway, so this one, I'm just going to finish coloring as well because why not? I just added some color here. Um, oh, and I colored his little feet yellow. Why? I don't know. They're really kind of like an orangey color, but I just used yellow. So we're going to use yellow as well. And then if you wanted to add some more um, color to his, um, the darker survey, you could in these lines as well. So I might just kind of take a couple minutes and add a little bit of, I just guess. If you guys are wondering how I do that, I just kind of guess where I want it to go. I don't really make it too, too, too perfect. But there you go. Do you guys see that variation in him? Really cool, right? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and adhere this down to the card. So he's gonna go down first on the card. So I'm gonna add him with a couple of dimensionals, again, using some of my minis. Some of my mini dimensionals. So cute. And he's gonna go down to the card like this. And then I have the fence. Again, this is stamped using um, um, the um, pecan um, card stock with the pecan ink and what I did on here because this is already on with a dimensional what I did is I just added a little bit of adhesive to this side okay so that's going to get glued down to the the bird and then I'm going to add a dimensional onto the other one and the whole reason why I do that is so that way it'll be at the same um, height it won't be like this one's more bumpy than the other so you can see the dimensional one's going to go down here and that piece is going to go on and stick right on to the the rooster okay then it's all flush so a little tip for you there on what i do um and then i have the you rule the roost because maverick is the ruler of the roost the other the other um roosters do not bug our maverick and my maverick comes and sees me i moved my um, home computer or workstation from the front of my house back into my my den or my laundry room just so it's a little bit more private when people come into my house and my husband can come in and get lunch and things like that and I have to worry about it but um he followed me too he hears me in the mornings when I'm on meetings and just has a fun time um, with all of that <laughs> yes um I do love my fresh eggs so I grew up most of you know I grew up on a small dairy farm and I do love my we call them farm fresh eggs even though we don't really have a farm I now call them fresh eggs I do love my fresh eggs. I, I will say I, I love it. Definitely can tell a difference. All right, so I'm adding some of those little uh, metallic shapes to that. And there you have it. I know, and that one cute? I love this. I probably love this one the, the best, that chicken the best out of all of them. All right, that is card number three. Now for my next cards, I'm probably going to go a little bit faster through them. Um, because, oh, these aren't, these aren't that bad. These won't take me too, too long. I'll be able to get through these, I think. All right, this is my next card right here. And this one I use, instead of using, so if you don't want to get the dies, if you want to just get the stamp set, you can use, I use the, um, the, the circles for this, circle punches. Um, so you can also use circles or just cut rectangles or whatever and do your stamping directly on if you would like to. So for this one, I used the, um, Copper clay again. All of the designer series paper for these are from that. Um, are from the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
that earth and essence bundle okay um again using the little um basics embossing folder it looks like it's chicken feet um we're gonna adhere I keep going for my adhesive that's out we're just gonna adhere this together okay on there like that and then i have a little piece of this paper right here and we're just going to adhere that onto here so you guys can see it's a really personal preference onto what adhesive you might like to use and this adhesive work gives you a little bit of time to move it around slide it, slide it in place if it's not where you want it <clears throat> but can you guys see the little bit of amount that i'm using you do not need much and so if you do use a lot your hands are going to get sticky and this glue is not an easy glue to get off of your hands um, you have to wash them a few times to get it off your hands. <clears throat> but it's intended to be a good glue for a reason because you want it to be um, sticky to hold your um, your uh, cardstock in place. All right, we're going to add some ribbon. And I'm telling you, I love this ribbon. The other ribbon that probably would have looked nice is the one that actually came with this Earth and Essence bundle. But when I designed these cards, that ribbon was not available to order. And so I wanted to use something that was currently available and this was the next best one that I could find that I really, really liked. And so that is why I chose this one. And I actually think I like this one better. All right. So we're just going to add the ribbon right across the center of this. And I'm using glue dots for that tonight. And then, again, using my liquid Tombow glue because my other glue is out and I'm too lazy to go and grab one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to have to go away from you guys. I didn't have one handy. So Claire was down here to help me get started, and then I released her. She was very hungry, and so I told her to go eat. I said, get me started, and then you can go eat. I could actually start my video myself, but then you guys have to just wait until I walk around, and it's so much easier to just have one of them help me. And I told her it's got to be her because Natalie's gone. Usually it's Natalie. All right, I'm going to tie this around there. So I just added a little piece, a little slip piece in there. And I'm going to cut that at an angle. And then we have the two pieces that I did a circle punch. So this I actually did the little um, chicken with the cupcake. So that little cupcake is part of the stamp set. It's right here. Okay. And these two we're just going to get. And I'm going to actually glue these together because I can color it on the card um, since this is on a circle. So I'm just going to add, a, again, a little bit of adhesive. Add that to the circle here. And then this whole thing's gonna go on with some dimensionals. So if any of you are like cussing out this liquid glue, if you've used it and you don't like it, it's because you're using too much. There's my little tip for you, okay? You don't need a lot. A little of this goes a very, very long way. Add my little chicken in there. This guy can move down a little bit. There you go. Oh, I might cut that a little bit shorter. That one's a little too long. Doesn't match. There we go. And then I have It's Your Birthday. So that is just stamped on a three-quarter inch strip of the Misty Moonlight cardstock. And I'm going to put this on with a couple of dimensionals as well. So how'd I do, you guys, for designing outside my comfort zone with a non-floral, girly set? I think I did okay. All right. Um, and then you can add any of these little embellishments that you want. I found myself using these brass colored ones a lot because to me they just really went really well with the. Um, did I? For a minute I thought I glued this on backwards. Kind <laughs> of glued this on backwards, but I didn't. Whew. Okay. Thanks, you guys. I love the love. Um, and so this one I would just color, then I use the Pecan Pie, I use the Misty um, Moonlight, and then the Lemon Lolly and the Light um, Pumpkin Pie to color that all in. And again, um, you, you know, you got a pretty card without having to even use any of the, thank you guys, I love it, without even having to use any of those dies. All right, my last card for you all tonight is this one right here. So let me bring that one in. This is my last card for you guys tonight. 
And I had good intentions to do a 3D project and find something fun and cute to put in it that was chicken themed on Amazon and time got away on me. And then when I was looking, I'm like, it's not going to be here in time. But anyway, I still know I would have enough to share with you with all of the things that I created with this one. Uh, so this one I chose to use... Um, and I used all of that designer series paper to give you an idea, an example of what you can, can they make you laugh? I know they were kind of, imagine coloring them. Imagine coloring all these cards and laughing at these silly little things. Now this one, I did put the skateboard up, up a little high because he's just, I, I say, well, he's just jumping up. Um, but anyway, um, love the little skateboard. So see, look at, you can even add a, a skateboard to them. I mean, like I had to do that, but I did stamp it a little bit too high, but that's okay. All right, so this one again, I used um, a different piece of that paper from the um, from the Earth and Essence paper, and again, little bit of glue. You don't need a ton, and we're gonna adhere that together like that. And then I have these two little pieces, so you can see that these are going to whoops, wrong piece, whoops, whoops, go together like that. So that's kind of why I tied it in with the mossy or the moody mauve there and I'm just going to adhere again not a whole ton of glue is needed so this is going to get adhered down to that and then this will get adhered down to the card shoot get my thumb out of the way like this it's going to go all the way across that this set was very fun to explore with Peggy. And thank you, Kim. We appreciate it. I'm glad you're watching tonight. All right. And then again, did the ribbon um, along the, um, the center here. So I'm just going to, again, get some glue dots. Because I'm going to use the glue dots for those. And you put one on each end. It pulls the glue dot right up with it. And that's going to go right in the middle of this piece. Right smack dab in the middle. And I keep going to grab for that dang adhesive that I know is out. A little bit of this. Again, if you use too much, you're going to have it squeezing off the ends. You can see when I put it down, I don't have that issue. I'm using just enough. Otherwise, you're going to have a hot, sticky mess. And your hands are going to be... I mean, your hands still might get a little sticky, but they won't be as bad if you um, don't use it um, too, too heavily. We're going to tie this little piece on to the end of this, like that. Choop, choop. Okay, and you can trim these off. And then I stamped, and I missed again with my awesome little skateboard. But he's just kind of off in La La Land doing his own thing anyway. So we're just going to leave him be. All right. <laughs> so we're going to add some adhesive to that. And he glue him down. The Misty Moonlight piece in the back is a quarter of an inch um, bigger than, um, than that um, uh, piece. So that you have that showing up. And then we're going to use dimensionals. Like if I had my larger ones here, I'd probably use them. But I used up all my edges. Lesson learned that Kim needs to check her caddy for supplies before she goes live. Um, but we improvised, and I think it's working all right. And this is going to go on here like that. Of course, we can color him in with any of the different colors. You can see, again, I used the same color scheme. Um, and then I did It's Your Birthday, which is from the Hey Chuck set. So all of the sentiments also came from the stamp set. So only one stamp set is all you would need to be able to make all of these wonderful projects. Um, but you really want those dies too, because the dies cut out those weather vanes and the sun and all of that. Um, but these cards are fun. Anybody who you give these cards to is going to love them. Did the same trick here. I didn't want this to look uneven, so I put a dimensional on the back of this side. So again, you want to be strategic. This side's going to be off the part that's already dimensioned. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to this, okay? Now, um, that's the little trick that I have always done because I don't want it to, this is already dimensioned, and then that's just going to make it look even, okay? So the dimensional's behind here, and this piece is adhered down to that. Hope you guys like that little tip. 
And then you're going to add some of the awesome little metallic shapes, however many you want to this. I'm just gonna add a couple on this one. And voila, you have a cute card. All right, I'm gonna bring all of our cards back in because we are up on our hour of time together. So I actually did pretty dang good. Yay. All right, so these are the cards that we created together tonight. This is also, like I said, a class <clears throat> that I um, have open right now for registration. Um, it's, I've been posting the link to register for a while now. So if you, if you register for the class, you get all the supplies to make these cards. You'd make 10 of them. You get five designs, two of each one. However, if you're interested in just receiving three finished cards like this, um, simply place an, a $35 order with me online at kimsbasementbunch.com um, by Sunday night using this host code. Now, if you go to my website, this host code is already listed there as well. And um, you'll receive um, three of these cards already finished. So you have a couple of options. If you are local, I would love to have you come to my class on um, August 28th between 3.30 and 8 o'clock. Actually, 3.45. I need to start at 3.45 um, to give me time to pick up Claire from school and get her to her dance. Um, but I'd love for you to um, to uh, to come and have fun making these. So anyway, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. Um, I do appreciate um, all of your time and that you um, let me share with you some cre creativity. And I hope that you guys <clears throat> enjoy the rest of your weekend. Again, a reminder, <coughs> excuse me, I will not be live with you guys next week. I will be attending the Stampin' Up! Backstage event in Las Vegas. But I will try to have a video posted that will go live for you all to enjoy during our normal time together. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening and weekend, and we'll see you soon.